collected Mrs. Polyfax by Nor Dorothy Gilman. Mrs. Polyfax is in her 60s and this book is based in the decade of the 60s. Her kids are grown, her husband is gone, and she is completely bored out of her mind. She's very healthy, but she just doesn't really have any purpose in her life. So she decides that she's going to do something she's always wanted to do since she was a child, which is be a spy. She looks up the address for the Central Intelligence Agency in Washington, D.C., and makes an appointment just to talk to somebody, and they're very confused as to why she's there, but she volunteers to be a secret agent. And with the purpose being she's elderly, she's experienced in, in life and organizing, and she's very practical, but she's expendable. Nobody's dependent on her in any way. So, if they need her to do something, she can do whatever they need. Well, there's um, a missions director, kind of a position, a man named Carstairs. He mistaken, mistakes her for a courier agent and um, quickly realizes his error, but she's so perfect for the position that he goes with it. He sends her to Mexico City and just tells her, you're on vacation. On this day, go to this bookstore, ask this question, and you'll get what you need. And you bring it back across to the U.S., and you're done. Simple. It's all you gotta do. Well, she goes. She goes to Mexico City. She enjoys her trip, but she goes to the bookstore early. She figures, it's, it's a tourist place. I'll go, and then I can go again on the right day. On the day she goes the first time... She talks to the shop owner, and he encourages her to learn and to play solitaire. In fact, he gives her a book about solitaire, and then on her way out, he, he also tosses her a deck of cards so that she can play the games she's learning. Well, four days later, when she goes back on the proper day, there's a different shop owner. Um, and... He ends up drugging her and she wakes up in a shed and she's tied up to back to back with another prisoner, uh, Mr. Farrow. He is, uh, he's in his forties He's and he's actually worked for the CIA for a number of years in Mexico City and the two of them are then transported to um, Albania. Albania. In Albania, they're taken to the Alps, they're put in a cell, they're questioned. They have no proof that Mrs. Polyfax is actually a CIA agent, but they do know that Mr. Farrow is. So when they question him, he comes back injured, he has a broken leg, he's beaten up. She spends the next week taking care of him, and she um, spend, also spends that time um, stealing and manipulating the guards, and she befriends everybody. She befriends the guards. She manipulates them into getting her supplies, she steals, she barters, she does whatever she can to get everything she needs to get them home. Even though the mission has obviously failed, she's going to get her and Mr. Farrow back to the United States. Um, a week or so after they get to Albania, they do escape. They fall down cliffs, they steal cars, they steal boats, they do whatever they need to to get away and get to the Adriatic Sea so that they can cross into another country and get um, get in contact with the CIA with car stairs to get home. Um, they do eventually get to the, the sea. They're on a little sailboat. They try to flag people down. They just, oh, they just wave back. They figured they're out there cruising along too. But eventually they're picked up by a merchant boat, merchant ship, which pulls them up. They realize they're Americans. They take them back to shore into another country, not Albania, and um, they're able to contact Carstairs, and the two of them are then rushed back to the United States, to Washington, D.C., for a debriefing, where they um, go over every little detail, and they realize the only thing that she still has that the original courier uh, contact gave her was the deck of cards. And upon closer examination of those cards, they find the microfilms of information um, that she was originally sent to Mexico to get. So 
through all of the chaos of the mission not going as planned, she does actually find um, the information she was originally sent to get.